This week I'll be building some shelves that you can either put in your basement or garage that will help straighten up your life. So let's get started right away. Alright, so I'm going to start by setting six 2x4s, 8 feet long, aside because these do not need to be cut. So now I have 12 2x4s and I need to cut about 10 or 11 21 inch spacers for my shelving units because I did I want my shelf two feet wide so that's 24 inches long and then you have to subtract three inches from each side to create a box or a rectangle I should say that is the exact length so I'm going to do this similar to how I built a workbench now if you don't understand what I'm talking about right now, then just bear with me and you'll understand at the end. Before I cut up the 21 inch spacers, I'm just going to make sure that the end of this 2x4 is true 90 degrees. So I set up my saw to exactly 90 degrees and I'll just cut off a little bit to make sure it is actually 90. square straight edge and 90 degrees. Alright, so I cut out all 12 spacers. Here are 10 and I placed one there and one there. So I'll get a full shot of this. And now you can see that is a rectangle and it is 8 feet long by 24 inches wide and that is pretty much perfect. So what I have right here is I went from this bottom up to the top of here and that is 21 inches and I'll grab a spacer to help you visualize it. So there's 21 inches then I went up 21 more inches and the same thing 21 more inches and I'm going to be storing these types of boxes on them. And these are 16 inches high and between here I'll have I have 17 inches between here right now but when it's all said and done there should be about se about 16 and a half inches so it's going to clear by like a half an inch. What you want to do is at this moment take your framing square measure up 21 inches and then come down three and a half and make sure these are all nice and square, then mark it off. And do that three times. And then go from this line up 21 inches. And I, you can see I screwed there. 21 inches down three and a half X. And then you can align those on both sides. And then use your framing square or speed triangle when you're ready to screw it in. Apply some glue and pop it down and I have these beefy three and a half inch or three inch screws to go almost completely through the wood to make sure it's a good solid connection. And now I will assemble all of this. So what you have to do is take this uh, 8 foot 2 by 4 and attach it to both of your end legs and you do that for all three shelves. So I know it's a little bit dark but basically what I've done is I put the center post in the center because I marked the centers on here 48 inches in from each side and I clamped down this post so it's nice and flat on the ground. And I'm just going to start pre drilling some screws and then screw the support in. And now that I have these center legs drilled in, I'm going to take the 21 inch piece as I drilled earlier 
and just set them in between on each side but it's going to actually go down and flush on each side so two here two here and two up here on the boards really fit in pretty good and now I'm going to take some 1 and 5 8 inch screws and pre-drill holes and then place a screw all the way across the line and do that for all your plywood sheets and that wraps up how to build wooden shelves if you like this project I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for you those of you that are new to woodworking net where I will post a new video every Tuesday so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.